So I'm going to try and show you how you can uh, get some better frames and performance out of Arma 2, which is a game that most of us have uh, for some reason fallen in love with, even though it's pretty unoptimized. Um, I'm running pretty much latest generation hardware, and I'm still getting 40 to 50 frames on a multiplayer game. So all of you out there that might have dual cores or i3s, i5s, you know, G GTX cards, um, don't feel bad because it doesn't matter if you throw two grand at this game, it still runs like crap. But I'm going to try and help you and uh, get some more enjoyment out of it. So, uh, first thing I see a lot of people do that takes me off is you go player profile and you see select player. This original play name will pull from your PC name. And uh, I'm getting sick of getting killed by people named Kitchen PC, Little Billy's Laptop, etc. Please just uh, do us all a favor and actually put in a player name. But uh, all the settings are also tied to each one of these player names. So if you try to change between names, the settings you had previously won't transfer over. So I'm going to make a new one for you guys. Um, Alright, so under my name, you know, grab a face, whatever. And then, I, and then these are all new settings, not like I had in the other profile you just saw. So first thing we want to do is options. I always go to audio, turn the radio off. That's all that. Man, 200 meters away. Turn that crap off. Usually turn Vaughn down because uh, I don't need to hear the little kitties scream at me. And hit OK. And then we're going to go to what we're really here for. Well, hang on. Game options. Another thing you guys want to do is to really help you out. Head bob, turn that crap off. Subtitles disabled. Radio subtitles disabled. Make your lives better. And we're going to go to video options. And the first thing you're going to see is you want to hit this advanced button down here. And that's where the meat is. So the first thing is visibility. Um, Arma 2, a lot of the frames come down to how far you're out you're looking and texturing. Um, if you want more frames, less visibility. You want to see more and no frames, turn it way up. Um, you see stop for me 1600. You can play with that and see what uh, works best for you. But that's going to be the biggest difference for getting frames. Brightness, that simply turns, you know, how bright the game is. That really means nothing. Gamma, all that. Um, quality preference, it's just a random stock of presets. We're going to change all that. But one of the biggest things that also helps people is this interface resolution and 3D resolution. You want to make sure those two numbers match to what your monitor has. For some reason, stock Arma 2 settings will always have 3D resolution much lower, and that really hurts performance. Um, texture detail, you would think that makes a big difference, but uh, you can turn it on high without much hit on your performance. Another mistake Arma 2 always makes is video memory slot. You want to put that to default. That'll help you out much right there. Anastropic filtering, um, this defines how much textures in the terrain are rendered at a distance. This can be on high too without too much performance, so i say leave it. Anti-aliasing, that controls how sharp objects are. Like, you know, taking that object and it's how smooth and uh, crisp and clean it is, that's a little more expensive. I probably tell most of you to try normal or low, maybe. Um, you know, if you really have a bad computer and you really want to get the most out of your game, disable it. Uh, I always disable ATOC. It's just, um, it's known as alpha to coverage. And uh, it controls the anti-aliasing around grass and trees. Um, it can have an impact on FPS too. I just disable it for me. If you have, you know, if you can't, you try and get the most out of your frames, the smoothness, the more disabled the better. Drain detail. Um, this can have a massive effect on FPS. And uh, I know a lot of people turn it to very low because you can see people on the horizon better because it smooths everything out to like a blur and then you see that object move on it. Object details of all things you can actually bump up because you know and it makes the game really look like that's your characters that's objects in front of you obviously because it says object detail. 
But it sharpens things up, and uh, at least your game won't look like complete crap. Shadow detail is um, shadows, and this can have a massive, uh, you know, effect on your v on your uh, VPS FPS. You want to go ahead and uh, usually disable this. I do this for all games because I just you know shadows look nice, but more frames, and I can usually see people better. HDR quality is the lighting and uh, bloom effects for a game, and it can cause FPS to drop. So, uh, you know, you can put it on normal, and voila. The PPAA is post-processing anti-aliasing effects. Um, it's just a personal preference. I leave mine disabled. Post-process effects is... Uh, makes the world blur when you run. So if you hate that effect, and I always played in DayZ post process effects on because I didn't know any better. And uh, turn that crap off and help yourself again. Interface size that just controls, as you see, you know how big or small. If you're blind, very large will work for you. Aspect ratio, that's a perfect thing. Most monitors are 16 by 9 though, and then VSync just controls. You know, your monitor refresh rate to how many frames you're getting. I disable it for all games, but for some reason, uh, games don't look right. It's, you know, blacking out or flickering. Turning this VSync off can help with that. Okay. And uh, hit OK. Okay. So that restarted our game. And uh, hopefully that helps you get your frames up. But the next piece of t tips I got for you is if you want to do the manual configuration, sometimes by, you know, all those things you did just save to a notepad. That notepad is located under usually your C drive, documents, and you'll see a folder called Arma2. And in that Arma2 folder, there's like an Arma2.cfg and an Arma2AO.cfg. You open those in notepad, and you'll be able to manually type in your settings that way. Um, I hope this helps. If you guys have any uh, questions, criticism, you need help, I'm here for you. Just send me a comment or a message, and... Um, Oh, you know, game on.